going for a guillotine choke with Stefan. Stefan has his neck exposed. We want to see Stefan's neck as a sheet of paper. And as well, we want to see my shoulder as the base of a paper cutter, thus making my forearm into the blade of the paper cutter. Note how deep my hand goes. Common mistake is that you see how my shoulder is off of his neck, and then you see how there is no shearing mechanism for cutting that piece of paper. I need to keep my shoulder over top of his neck, and then I need to go and bring my hand up. As I pull guard and as I sit back, note how my shoulder stays over top of his neck in order to go and execute the choke. Done wrong, done wrong is when instead of a shearing mechanism for the guillotine choke, we have extension and I am simply leaning back for my guillotine choke. That won't work on somebody as big and as strong and as skilled as Stefan. He'll simply pull his head out. So once again, imagine the top of my shoulder here being the base of the paper cutter. If I'm leaning back and everything else could be correct, but I have extension, note how his head just pops out. This is no different than if the blade of the paper cutter was away from the base, you'll just kind of smush the paper. You want a shearing mechanism with your paper cutter so that way the paper cuts. It's the exact same thing with the guillotine. Arm in guillotine. One of the key mistakes with the arm in guillotine is that we just encircle the head and the arm and then we just squeeze. You can tap people out like that, but after a while that just won't work. What we need to do is we need to see the hand that's encircling the neck to encircle the neck as much as we possibly can. And then this hand here, the hand that's underneath, is simply just pushing your hand into the neck. We want to once again see the base of the paper cutter over top and we want to see our forearm as the blade of the paper cutter. I want to keep Stefan's head and hip to the one side of my spine as I fall in for the one arm arm and guillotine. Thanks Stefan. As I fall in for the arm and guillotine, my hand motion looks like this where I'm keeping my head over top of the shoulder blades and I'm trying to create a shearing mechanism with my forearm and his neck and it's not about me just leaning back and pulling. The cardinal attack from the back is the rear naked choke. What we want to see is Stefan's head like a piece of paper, I am reaching all the way across and then my forearm is the blade of a paper cutter my hand behind is the base of the paper cutter and we're looking to go and slice his head like we're slicing a piece of paper. Common mistakes, once again, are the base of the paper cutter being misaligned with the blade. Common example for that is that me pushing Stefan's head forward, Stefan's just way too big, way too strong, this will not be very effective. The forearm is behind, this is the, this is the backstop, my elbow cuts back and then across, much like the blade of a paper cutter. 